44 past the hour right now with the rapid rise of the Chinese artificial intelligence software DeepSeek. U.S. lawmakers are looking to ban it from government devices. But there's concerns around privacy and concerns around malware. Privacy in the sense that if you type something into the chatbot, you're sharing it with DeepSeek in China. Governments across the world are officially banning DeepSeek AI, and the reasons behind it might be far bigger than anyone expected. Italy, Taiwan, South Korea, Australia, and the U.S. are scrambling to block the Chinese AI chatbot from government devices, citing major security threats. But what's really happening here? Is DeepSeek just another AI innovation facing regulatory scrutiny? Or is this part of something much bigger, an escalating global AI war between China and the West? Let's break it all down. DeepSeek AI is no ordinary chatbot. Launched in May 2023, it quickly disrupted the global AI industry by offering an advanced model powered by cheaper, less sophisticated NVIDIA H800 chips. Despite using older hardware, it rivaled OpenAI's ChatGPT and quickly gained traction among users. But now, governments worldwide are moving to ban it outright, claiming that the app poses a major national security risk. Countries including Italy, Taiwan, South Korea, Australia and the U.S. have all taken action, either restricting or proposing bans on the app for government use. The concern? Data security, privacy risks, and potential ties to the Chinese Communist Party, CCP. This isn't the first time a Chinese tech product has faced bans. TikTok, Huawei, and other Chinese firms have all been targeted in the past. But DeepSeek AI is now at the center of a rapidly intensifying geopolitical fight over artificial intelligence. The rapid rise of DeepSeek AI. To understand why governments are so alarmed, we need to look at how DeepSeek AI became so powerful so quickly. DeepSeek AI's R1 model took the AI world by surprise. While companies like OpenAI and Google have relied on high-end chips to train their models, DeepSeek managed to develop an AI system that ran on less advanced hardware, yet still delivered high-level performance. This was a game changer because it meant that China could develop cutting-edge AI technology even without access to top-tier semiconductors, a major concern for the West, especially after the U.S. imposed strict chip export bans on China in 2022 and 2023. Despite these restrictions, DeepSeek found a way to compete, proving that AI doesn't necessarily require the latest hardware to be effective. DeepSeek became popular for several reasons. Its user-friendly interface made AI more accessible to a wider audience. Its multilingual capabilities allowed it to appeal to global users beyond English-speaking markets. Most notably, it was cost-effective. Since it didn't rely on expensive, high-end chips, it could be scaled more affordably than its Western counterparts. The result? DeepSeek shook the AI industry, drawing massive attention from both users and competitors. It even had a noticeable impact on the stock prices of U.S. tech giants like OpenAI and NVIDIA, further fueling concerns among policymakers. But its rapid rise also led to increased government scrutiny, and now a growing number of countries are moving to ban it outright. DeepSeek has been banned from Australian government devices over national security fears. Well, Sharon, Italy's Data Protection Agency says it has blocked the app in the country and launched an investigation after DeepSeek's developers didn't provide information on how it collects data and whether it's stored in China. The first countries to ban DeepSeek AI. Italy was the first Western country to investigate DeepSeek AI, with its data protection authority raising concerns over how the chatbot collects and stores user data. This move was significant, as Italy had previously banned ChatGPT in 2023 over similar privacy issues. Italian regulators cited the lack of transparency in DeepSeek's data policies, raising fears that user information could be accessed by third parties without proper safeguards. Taiwan quickly followed, banning DeepSeek from government and key infrastructure sectors, citing concerns over Chinese surveillance and data collection risks. Officials warned that using DeepSeek on sensitive government networks could expose critical information to foreign entities. Days later, Australia implemented similar restrictions, prohibiting its use in government and military settings, reinforcing its stance against potential cybersecurity threats from Chinese AI tools. South Korea took one of the strictest stances, banning DeepSeek across defense, unification ministries, 
and the national police due to concerns over Chinese intelligence gathering. South Korean officials emphasized that AI-driven surveillance tools could be used for espionage, reinforcing their decision to align with U.S. cybersecurity measures. As a close American ally, this move strengthened Seoul's cooperation with Washington's efforts to counter China's growing AI influence. In the U.S., lawmakers introduced the No Deep Seek on Government Devices Act, with Congressman Darren LaHood labeling Deep Seek a Chinese Communist Party-affiliated national security threat. U.S. intelligence officials stress that Deep Seek's data sharing policies and keystroke tracking capabilities posed a potential cybersecurity risk. While the U.S. has previously banned Huawei and TikTok, this marks one of the first major AI-related bans specifically targeting a generative AI model, signaling a new phase in global AI regulation. Why governments are worried about DeepSeq AI? Countries are banning DeepSeq AI due to growing concerns over data security, surveillance, and geopolitical risks. A major issue is data collection. DeepSeq's privacy policy allows user data to be shared with third parties, similar to OpenAI's ChatGPT. However, unlike U.S. firms, Chinese companies are legally required under China's national intelligence law to provide user data to the government upon request. This means Beijing could access user logs, private chats, and even keystroke data, raising serious surveillance concerns. Another red flag is keystroke tracking. DeepSeek reportedly analyzes typing patterns, which could identify individuals based on how they type. While this feature isn't unique to DeepSeek, its presence in a China-based AI model has alarmed cybersecurity experts. DeepSeek is also accused of AI censorship and political influence. Even outside China, the chatbot allegedly filters politically sensitive topics such as Tiananmen Square, Taiwan's independence, and Hong Kong protests. This has fueled concerns that China could use AI to control global narratives and spread propaganda. Lastly, DeepSeek poses a potential cybersecurity threat. Governments worry it could be used for espionage, cyber warfare, and AI-driven disinformation campaigns. If China gains AI dominance, it could shift technological control away from the West, further escalating the global AI arms race. How DeepSeek's ban signals a global tech divide. The DeepSeek AI bans aren't just about one chatbot. They're part of a much bigger battle between China and the West for AI dominance. The U.S. has led AI research for years, but China is catching up fast pouring billions into AI to become self-sufficient in advanced technology. Washington sees this as a major security risk, fearing China's AI could control global information, influence public opinion, and expand surveillance tools. To slow China down, the U.S. restricted access to high-end AI chips, but DeepSeek has proven those restrictions don't matter. Unlike OpenAI and Google, which use cutting-edge A100 and H100 chips. DeepSeek runs on older NVIDIA H800 chips, yet it still rivals ChatGPT. That's a huge deal because it shows China doesn't need top-tier U.S. tech to compete. Now, big questions are surfacing. Will China ban U.S. AI tools like ChatGPT? Will more countries block DeepSeek? Could this turn into a full AI trade war? This could completely reshape the AI industry. We might see a split AI ecosystem where China builds its own models separate from Western platforms like OpenAI and Google. Meanwhile, countries like India, Brazil, and Africa may be forced to pick sides. Just like China created a restricted internet, AI models could soon be divided along geopolitical lines. Governments are also waking up to AI's power over public discourse and security, leading to tighter regulations. And it won't stop with DeepSeek. Even ChatGPT and Google Gemini could face tougher scrutiny. Some governments may force AI companies to store data locally, cutting off foreign access. To avoid these restrictions, businesses might shift to self-hosted AI models. Open source platforms like Meta's Llama or Mistral AI could become the go-to alternatives. This isn't the first time a Chinese tech product has faced global pushback. TikTok got banned from government devices and Huawei was blocked from 5G networks over security concerns. Now AI is the new battleground. If DeepSeek is restricted, other Chinese AI firms like SenseTime and iFlyTech could be next. If China retaliates by banning OpenAI, Google, and Meta, this could trigger a full-blown AI trade war. 
For now, these bans mostly affect government use, but that could change. Will AI models like DeepSeek eventually be restricted for private users? If so, we could be looking at one of the most controlled AI markets in history, shaping how AI is used worldwide. What this means for you and the internet? DeepSeek's ban currently applies mainly to government devices, but it could set a precedent for wider AI restrictions. If more countries follow suit, AI services may become geo-blocked, limiting user access based on national regulations. Companies could be forced to choose between Western and Chinese AI models, depending on where they operate. Governments might also tighten AI regulations, controlling how AI-generated content is created, shared, and consumed. This raises a bigger question. Should governments have the power to decide which AI models people can use? While bans are often framed as national security measures, they could evolve into broader internet regulation, giving authorities more control over information flow in digital communication. AI restrictions that start with security concerns could expand into censorship, shaping how people interact with information online. As AI becomes more integrated into daily life, the real issue is where to draw the line between protection and restriction. Now we turn the question to you. Do you think these bans are necessary to protect national security or are they simply a way for governments to control AI development? If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.